okay, and enduring afflictions, doing as the scriptures say. Psalm 68 and 16. Matter of fact, he can get it. That's right. You're going, bro. All right? So that's what we're doing right now. All right, through the spirit of an inspiration of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. Okay? Exactly. That's exactly what we're doing. You know, we're out here to, to, to preach the word, man, in the hopes that we be saved. Okay, and we're confident in the, in the hopes that we will be saved. Let's read that, bro. Psalm 68 and 16, it says, Why leap ye? Why leap uh, ye? Ye, hill, ye high hills. Come, what that means is that the nations, they're exalting themselves. Like you got the Chinese. They think that, um, when it's all said and done, close to this new war, they're gonna be the one who it. That's why they're spreading their um, their empire, they're doing businesses. Yeah. How could you, how could you not just say um, they're going, they're Oh yeah. Uh, they're infiltrating Africa, right? Yeah. So they're building yeah. a lot of businesses up in Africa. Yeah. Now. Yeah. And um, basically taking over the place. Right? Mm. That's they, exactly what's going on. They think they're gonna be the next, um, the next major world economy, man. They think they're yep. next. Yeah, they think they got next, they got next and they and they over there in um what is it Benjamin Land, Jamaica? They over there, yeah. in, entering uh, to the realms of Jamaica, running that bad boy, man. They've been there for a while still. Yeah, they've been there for like a year now, I believe. So yeah, them Chinese, they believe that they're gonna be next in power, man. And then they down there in South Central America, aiding them with weaponry. Okay. So yeah, man, that's what's going on. Even the Russians, they think they're gonna rule along with China. That's not gonna happen. What's gonna happen is, is when this war get, when this when this war happens, okay, it's gonna be a clash of the, it's gonna be a clash and no one's gonna win. It's gonna everybody's gonna have to take a big a big gigantic L man. Um. That's what it's all gonna come down to. That's why the shooter says why I need the high hills man. Matter of fact brother hold that give me songs uh, the second chapter. You know what you know which one I want. Uh, yeah. Sirach chapter 10 verse uh, 9 Why is earth and ashes proud? Yeah. There's not a more wicked thing than a covetous man That's it man For such an one set of his own soul to sail mm. Because while he liveth he casteth away his bowels right. okay. So why is earth and ashes proud? Um, Excuse me. Yeah, verse, verse 13, for pride is the beginning of sin, mm -hmm. and he that have it shall pour out abomination. Yep. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities That's it. and overthrew them utterly. That yep. is how it's probably saying. Exactly. Strange calamities. Exactly. So and then and that's just the thing with these nations, because they are in that position, they're prideful in, in heart. Mainly the so-called white man. He's mainly the most proud out, out of all of them. You know, but the Lord is going to strange them. The Lord is going to send them strange calamities and show them, like I said, who's running the show. Yeah. You know? So it says, The Lord have cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. And that's what he's going through all over again. The Lord is going to destroy, what is it, the, the, uh, the proud princes. Mm. But she's in a position of being a prince. These Edomites, these bankers. Okay, the Rothschild family, the, the Alkenheimers, Okay, the um, the Kushners, all of these cats, man. These dark, these uh, what is it? These dark super and jackasses. They're all proud and arrogant, man. But the Most High is going to show them that they're nothing and bring them down to their knees and, and worship before the feet of the saints. That's where they're going. That's exactly what part they're going to play in the kingdom. Is everybody's going to be in the kingdom? But there's going to be positions played out on the kingdom. And these Edomites that's ruling right now, they're going to be the basis in the kingdom. You're gonna have other nations, they're gonna, you know, live up according to their, you know, their position. Alright? That's what's gonna go down. Because see right now, these cats they proud, they arrogant, they think they bad and they tough. But guess what? When the moon side comes back, <laughs> everybody's gonna turn to a pillar of salt and burn the hell up. Alright? That's what's gonna go down. Real talk. And we're not playing no games either. Go on, bro. See here today, they the Lord have there. plucked up the roots of yeah. proud nations. Right, the Lord have plucked up the root of proud nations. And the and Lord is going to do it all over again. Go on. And planted the lowly in their place. Right, and planted the lonely in their place. 
So who's who's going to be planted in their place, the children of Israel? In order for that to happen, we would be outside of our place. So that knocks out the whole idea that them so-called gutter rat motherfuckers over there in the trading line, they ain't calling me the Jews. Excuse my language. <laughs> I tell you what, hold on that, hold on to that, brother. I want him to finish this. Right, this is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter two, starting one. It says, why did a heathen rage? Yeah. And the people imagine a vain thing. Right, exactly, man. That's a vain thing to believe that they gonna come and they gonna rule and they gonna be the next of power to rule. Nah, man, that's vain because that ain't within the council of the law. Okay, you, you, you know what I mean? You, you, you puffing yourself up in the belief in an idea that there's no substance to. There's no substance of that. Okay, and then you got these devils, they thinking they're they gonna rule uh, in a year of what is it? 20 oh, what is it? 20, 2105, 100 years from now. They ain't gonna rule 100 years from now. Or 90 plus years from now. Once the society goes down, this shit ain't coming back up no more. Ever since 2008, man, this society been going down hills ever since. Economically, moralistically. And it ain't coming back up. Go on, bro. Verse 2 says, The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together mm. against the Lord and against his anointed saying yeah. let us break their bands asunder Meaning let's break let's maintain what is it let's maintain our power and keeping the nation of Israel broken right right exactly. that's what they believe they believe if they can keep that going then guess what the Lord ain't never gonna come right. mm. the Lord is gonna come according to the word of prophecy and break this shit down baby boy all right as the scripture says in Isaiah 1 it says what is it? Not Isaiah one, but Ecclesiastes the third chapter it says, "There's a there's a time of there's there's a time to uh, plant and there's a time to pluck up that which was planted." So the most is gonna pluck this shit out, man. Go on, bro. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on. Go on. Um, he said, "Um, how uh, they 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 saying unless the other nations they saying let's break the bands of them asunder, so so basically to maintain their rulership, right? Yeah. And and it goes to show how Esau." Esau, the, the elites of Esau know that um, Jacob, um, in order to receive the kingdom, they're going to have to turn back to the Most High. Yeah. They understand the elites. I mean, they know that they, the, um, the Israelites are going to have to call on the name of the Lord and learn the truth of the scriptures, basically. That's the key to their salvation. So what Esau's done is he's taken the keys of our salvation and deceived us with the own keys of our own salvation. And, 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 and you know, that's, how, that's yeah. how much of a devil Esau is. That he knows, he knows the key. He knows what's going to deliver us. Mm. So he took it and deceived us with it. But he, what he had to do, he had to do his thing. He had to do it, brother. Just say something like this. Yeah, go on, bro. That's, it. that's why when you get um, like that, that demon that came up, talking about how this book is written by the white man, mm. and that's a, that's a general consensus for these jakes out there that don't yeah. want to get right. That's it. And, yeah. and, and, and not only that, that, that's an excuse for them to not get right. You know, I was saying, thinking about that. Doing their, their wicked shit, basically. That's yeah, it. that's like I said, that's just another... That's another that, that, that guy, he was basically a living testimony yeah. of who I was talking about. To see all that like, you drove over and say, oh, the guy, well, that's the white man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's but you know what, that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's exactly what I was talking about. That, like, that's what he saw. He's been deceived. He's been made to think that his salvation is an enemy against him, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, though, and, and the thing with Esau, because see, Esau, he knows the scriptures. He's, you know, the elites that be, they know the scriptures. But they don't know enough to understand that the Lord ain't concerned with the whole house of Israel. The Lord is only concerned with the elect. So if the, I don't cut you, bro. So if the elect got it, then guess what? Time's up. It's time's up, baby boy. You going, hey, yo, your society's going down. Once the elect is still with the wisdom and understanding, regardless of whether you're trying to withdraw the truth from Jacob, it ain't gonna make a difference because the scripture says that what is the Israel be as the sand of the sea, yeah, yeah. but yet a remnant shall return, and that's already happened. And if it were possible, you would deceive the elect. Right. If it were, if it were possible. But it's not possible. Right. So that's showing you right there. So although Esau tried, like you were saying, brother, yeah, yeah. how Esau tried to manipulate Jake to go astray from the truth. For good so he can maintain his power but what he didn't realize is yeah. that the elect are going to attain it and it's still and, and this motherfucker still going to be destroyed right, 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 right. so that's why you've got the rise of this huge ontology and 
Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. becoming fashion right about now, isn't it? Yeah. Like, and, you, and, and he's right about that because that's why you got these guys on the internet, they pushing out the Egyptology, that Kemetism and all of that darkery, man. That's that, that uh, what is it? That dark, that darkery, I'll call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Wakanda, yeah. Wakanda, yeah. All of that nonsense, man. That's just a, a, get straight, get Jake astray from the truth. You know, go on. See, see all of these things that you like when you just brought out the Kemet and all that yeah. stuff. There's no, there's no real end to that. There's no, there's no prophecies in that. There's not, there's no um, salvation in that. Man. So they're happy for all these, these uh, Jakes out there to get involved with all that stuff. Man. It's like Islam, yeah, it you know, the nation of Islam, Christianity, all that stuff. There's nothing in that for them. So as long as they keep pushing that out. They think they're going to keep us down, like the brother said, when you can't stop this. That goes against the scriptures, isn't that? Yeah, all that goes against the scriptures, isn't it? All that Egypt stuff. But they're running away from the scriptures, man. That's in the scriptures, what it says, studying many books. Scripture studying many books and come to no conclusion. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Weary some to the soul, yeah, yeah. And none shall want her mate. You know, seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. In fact, you can get that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I know. No, I'll find it, I'll find it. Let me finish this anyway, boss. It says, yeah, uh, Psalms 2 and 4, it says, He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. So, you know, getting back to what he's saying about breaking the sun, man, they're not going to be able to do what they're planning to do, man. Like yeah. the brother said, they're not going on to 2150, man. No. That's, that's, it's nearly, the time's nearly up. Yeah. And, and I mean, yeah. And I mean, when you look at the society, and you look at the young people of today, the, the younger generation that came under us, they're messed up, man. I was even reading the article, and pretty much they were saying, man, like, there's a lot of um, young people in England that, that suffer from mental issues. And they all this, they're all uh, dysfunctional, it's all hell, they're living with mama and papa. Because they can't really fend for themselves in the world. They're not ready for life and they're grown ass people. So you mean to tell me these jokers is going to pretty much uh, take care of the, um, this society? They ain't gonna, they're not going to do it, man. And I, and I see why, um, what is it? I see why the, the, what is it, the presidents of this country, they allow the, the what is it? these different nations to come here to work because these devils ain't working, man. They don't want to work, but then yet they'll say, oh yeah, get these Polish jackasses out of here. They taking over the jobs, well, if your ass is working, guess what? They wouldn't need these other these other cats to come in the country and take over your jobs if you were actually doing the job, okay? And you know what proves my point? Because we've even owned a store in this country here. <laughs> we've owned a store down there at one time, up in um, Liverpool. Right, and what we done was is you know we obviously took on board these Edom these crackers that was born here, and guess what? They weren't working work for them. They were just talking, jibber jabbing. That's all they were doing. So we pretty much kicked them out, kicked them out of the way, and um, pretty much um, what we had to do was is we had to actually get people from Eastern Europe to work. Okay, and guess what? They were far more better workers than the English. Far more better workers. They were, yeah, they were talking, they were conversating, but they were doing, they were working more effectively well than the English. And this is why you have uh, these nations that come over here and they're taking over the jobs. Yeah. Because these actual crackers that were born racist, they ain't fucking working, man. They talking, they hanging out, smoking cities all fucking day. <laughs> That's all they're doing, man. And they're lazy, and they got the fuck, and these same motherfuckers got the nerve to say that we're lazy. Yeah. Well, if we're lazy, how come we're taking over your damn jobs then? If we're lazy. Yeah, that's that's like that's um they call dogma. When they, when they come together and they say, this is you said this so it is. This is the truth. Yeah. This is what we're going by. Yeah. If you call it propaganda or like the so-called Negro is lazy, and and that's that's anything folks. Else and you know too, and what Esau is starting to do, Esau is starting, because I mean, when I go in these different stores, these Sainsbury stores, who do I see working in these stores? I see Elamites working in these stores, I see Jake working in these stores, I don't see no cracker working in these stores. Because even the owner of Sainsbury's realized 
that these crackers ain't working, man. And that's why these jackasses are on the street homeless, because they can't find no damn work. Going, bro. Because these, these other crackers ain't hot. <laughs> now, there's, a, there's, a epi there's an epidemic at the moment. Yeah. A pandemic worldwide that a lot of the Edomites, you, just, yep. you mentioned it, it's on the news, I, I, I recorded it on the news. Mm. They're beating up police, they're attacking the police, and they're, they're targeting the police women. Wow. And you see, yeah, you see wow. that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, wow. yeah, kicking, dragging them out of cars, the police women, and that's judgment from the most side. But as you just said, it's the, they're saying, when they, uh, statistically, they said, it's the new generation, the English yep. new generation. They're working, man, they're not working. They're not working. They're busy at home pretty much twiddling their, got their thumbs up their ass. That's what they're doing. Playing video games and shit. And this is why he saw they like, you know what man, let's let's bring Jake, let's bring Jake back in the fold. Because they're gonna put the work in. And let's bring these boys from the Eastern Europe to do the work because they're gonna put the work in. Because they these devils ain't making me no money. So let me brush them off to the side and let me put these other cats in there. And then you got these devils, they complaining about that, man. And that's why um Theresa Mayne them, they don't know. They don't know what to do, whether they should stay in the EU or come out of the EU. Go on, bro. <coughs> yeah. Alright, yeah, go on. Oh, that's it? Alright. Isaiah 63. Well, Isaiah 63, verse, uh, middle of verse 3. For I will tread them in my anger yeah, and trample the them yeah. in my fury, yeah. and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. Yeah, this is the word of God speaking. We're not reading no lousy Quran, no lousy made man-made Quran from the Roman Catholic institution. We reading the Bible, the holy book, right? We reading the same Bible that the so-called white will tell you to swear in the courts, man. Yeah. What this is saying, read that again. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. Right, who is he gonna trample in this fury? These white guys out here. They think they, they, they think they all that in the bag of chips. And I'm talking about the bankers that, the powers that be. Because they think they're gonna rule for the next 100 years and after their families and they gonna, their offsprings are gonna be established. They think in themselves that their house should continue forever and their dwellings. That's not gonna happen, man. Once they bring that chip out, which they've already done so, that's gonna be the end. The chip is pretty much the mark of the beast or the mark of the end of the beast, as I personally call it. That's going to be the last prophecy of them all. So once they bring that chip in and they mandate that bad boy around the world, that's the end of the world. That's the end of the so-called white man's world right there. Because they already got jobs out there where, down here in England, where basically the bosses, they now got the people getting hip to the idea that they got to they gotta get a chip before they even work in this uh, in that vicinity. Already, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And they doing it down here too, brother. Oh. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, mm -hmm. and I will stain all my raiment. And I will stain all my raiment. So when the Messiah comes back, there's going to be blood, blood spilling out. And this is why we out here, and we're risking our lives every single week to do this work, man. Because we don't want to be caught up in that. <clears throat> If we don't want to be caught up in that lake of fire, you're going. You're going the, for the day of vengeance is in my heart. Right, for the day of vengeance is in my heart. That's why the shooter says, wait your pump me until I rise to the grave. And it says that in Ezekiel, the 25th chapter, for vengeance is in my heart. Okay, so the Lord is going to show his, his, his power and, and his anger towards the people that afflicted him 2,000 years ago, pursuant to Revelation, the first chapter. You see that? So the Lord ain't playing no games out here, man. Right now, people are mocking us. Hey, the Lord is going to get them for that too, for mocking the prophets. Yeah. If uh, <laughs> you ever forgot about that. Yeah. So you think the most high, when he sends the sun down, he's going to come back here uh, nice and, and kind to people? Fuck that. It's good that you cost the poor millstone one. Yeah. 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 Cost the one when yeah. And the Lord got everybody's nup out here. All yeah. of the cats that came up that came up against us yeah. verbally or physically or tried to get us in trouble, calling yeah. the cops. Hey, the Lord got every every last one of them jack ass numbers. Remember when we got arrested with Dan Peckham? Yeah. And it was a somebody that in, it was a woman that instigated it. Yeah. When I saw that thing on the on the news about the police women getting attacked, 
That was like the most I was hearing our prayers, man. Yeah. And, you know, and you mentioned about the judgment. I, I keep, and, and I saw the documentary on um, trauma, trauma um, doctors. Mm -hmm. they, it was around King's Cross. I thought to myself, well, it could have been some of them cats that was mocking us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just yeah. cutting there and saying, because what you're saying as well, these either might have been the cause of a lot of deaths of a lot of Jakes, man. Yeah. yeah. Their lies and their bullshit. Yeah, you know yeah. What yeah. And it's so, still, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So now it's coming back on it. Now. I'm being brought to court for I'm being brought to court for that. They gonna shut that too. thing down, man. Nineteen fifties, isn't it? Nice. Think it was the forties, they called it. Back to this day. Even Matt Lau, I'm doing it straight from the top, but even Matt Lau at the time, there was, um, I think it was on, um, uh, what's it, uh, this guy, uh, the talk advice show, some either Matt called the police on some little kid, some either Matt woman called it, yeah, 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 yeah,
right. in all holy conversation yeah, and godliness, yeah, looking for, looking for, and hasting unto the com coming of the day of Yahweh. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall right. be dissolved. And that's what really that's what we preach about. Matter of fact, it be that in Isaiah um, 28 and 8. That's really what we preach about because if this place can be destroyed, that means that the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up. Okay, what is the kingdom of heaven going to entail? Us ruling the earth in righteousness. All right, we're going to be rulers of the earth and we're going to be ruling it by the law, such the commandments. Yeah, 20, right. You're yeah, going, bro. Uh, uh, and the and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yeah, go on. Verse thirteen. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a, and a new earth. I tell you what. Read up a couple of verses where it says um, these same words are kept in store unto fire. It's right in there. Yeah, just take your time. It's, it's right. It's, it's in that same chapter. Godly men. The same word is kept in stone to fire. Yeah, read on. As uh, Jeremiah chapter two. He got it, he got it. He got it. 28 verse 7. He got it. He got it. Uh, this is uh, 2 Peter 3 and 7. But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, yeah. reserved unto fire yeah. against the day of judgment right. and perdition of ungodly men. And that's what I was saying. That particular destruction is, is pretty much set up for people that don't believe. Revelation 21 and um, verse 8. Okay, the abominable and the unfaithful shall have their part which, which burneth in the lake of fire. That's what they're going to deal with. We're not going to be dealing with that. We're going to be delivered. And that's what we confidently hope. Okay, go on, bro. That's all I wanted to get, bro. Keep going. The prophet Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 7. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word yeah. that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me yeah. and before thee of old yeah. prophesied both against many countries and, it, and against great kingdoms yeah. of war and of evil. And of pestilence. And that's what we're doing right now. You had what is it? You had um, Isaiah, you had Ezekiel. And these men, they were in their they in their time you had you had kingdoms that were that were involved in, and they were preaching about the downfall of that kingdom. So we're in a society or a kingdom and we're preaching against it. That's what the prophets of the Lord are supposed to do. Not crying in some size some some, some um building and got suits and ties on and shit, singing hallelujah, okay, all happy day and shit. Nah, man, that ain't the prophets of the Lord. The prophets of the Lord, they're going to come out in the highways and the byways, and they're going to tell these devils to their face or whatever society that they're under and tell them that they're going to be destroyed, man. And tell them that their end is not going, bro. <coughs> there you go. Now, this is Psalm 64 and 2. It says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword, and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, yep. even bitter words. Yeah, that's them trying to rise up against us. So the Lord is going to pretty much take care of us from the enemies that want to rise up against us and take us out. But if they say they do take us out, it's not going to change the fact that they're going to be destroyed. It's not going to change the fact that they're going to the snake under the same people they're killing. Okay, because the, the Lord's word isn't, the, the most high's word ain't going out without void. Uh, so back in Sorok, uh, you know how I do bro. Uh, 14. The Lord have cast down the throne, the thrones of proud princes yeah. and set up the meek in their stead. Right. The Lord have plucked up the roots. The roots of the proud come nations. Come around if you got questions. If you got questions, come around. The, uh, the Lord uh, have plucked up the roots of the proud nations. Mm -hmm and planted the lowly in their place. Right, the lowly right now is these people on the side. Because the Most High put them under curses because they disobeyed the Most High's laws. So we're, the, we're, we're, we're at the bottom of society, economically, okay? These people are not looked up to according to society right now. But the Most High is going to set these people up and exalt them in their stead where they're supposed to be because we're the children of Israel, okay? But let's read that again. Let's get to the, to the, let's get to the depth of the point. Um, so the Lord have built up the roots of the proud nations 